Welcome back everybody to another edition of Freaks for Guitars. Today we're going to import a backing track into GarageBand. So what you need to do, click GarageBand. Okay, then on my songs there. That's your first screen. Okay, we're going to add a new song. So we're going to go over to this plus button. Click where it says new song. Okay, we see amplifier, that's okay. Click the amplifier. Okay, your amplifier comes up. But what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go over here to this studio track button, click there. Now you see where your guitar track will go later when you're playing. So what we're gonna do now is click this plus button that's on the far right. Okay? What we need to do is change that eight bars because you don't want eight bars repeating over and over again and if you just extend the track you're just gonna have the bars going over and over and over again anyways so we're gonna click there in manual mode we go up to 300's plenty okay for this song now what we're gonna do is close that you can see now you, instead of having just eight bars you're up to that 300 plus number now we're going to click that loop button okay now we're going to find a song let's see music okay let's take spoon man we're going to hold it we're going to drag it over here okay now we're just going to watch it import. I know you're happy about this. I was watching a bunch of videos and all they told you to do was drag that song in and said nothing about the bars and then you're sitting there wondering why isn't the whole song playing. So I hope this is helpful. Let's see. Okay. It's all there. Looking good. I hope this was helpful. Take care. Have a good day.